Topping merger headlines this Friday, Oracle buying BEA Systems for $17 per share. That's a 25% premium. Who would have thunk it? Well, Jim Cramer did, and he is here now to take us through this. Jim, you called this deal a while ago on Mad Money, and following the, your announcement, the company denied it, an analyst downgraded well, it's important. it. It's important to do all the things that happen, because that's what's supposed to happen, which is why your thesis has to be ironclad from the get-go. My thesis started with Stock Picker, where I look to see what activists are buying. Uh, Icon takes a stake. Icon doesn't take a stake mm -hmm. in order to invest. He takes a stake in order for something to happen. I need people to recognize that there are certain things that must occur legally, and you cannot accept them as being important. Uh, and I had a lot of friends that were thrown off base the same thing with Dow Jones. A company is allowed to say that it's not for sale and be sure. for sale and be for sale. You know, when you're when you have a publicly traded stock, you are by nature for sale. So it doesn't matter whether the company's the New York Times, Dow Jones, BEA. You you can of course say you're not for sale, but be for sale. Secondly, um, when a company like Oracle says that they're destroying the competition, that doesn't mean that the competition's destroyed. It just means it's gotten to the point, like with Siebel, that you, um, that they'll buy it. I mean. Oracle has a long tradition of bashing exactly who it's going to buy. So once they, when Chuck Phillips bashed BEA Systems mm -hmm. on the conference call, you knew that that was absolutely terrific. And then uh, finally, when Wall Street downgrades because they listen to the boilerplate, you've got to take the other side. Now, none of this is, is magic. Yeah. It, it has to do with how many times I've sold stocks because I heard all these things. Like, uh, And you saw it. I mean, if you go back to the Dow Jones reporting, every single Dow Jones reporter said, every single reporter on it said that, that look, it's not going to be sold. The family doesn't it sold. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't like I have any particular insight. It's just that that's just not the way it's done in corporate America. You, you say you're not for sale in order to get a higher price. The company that wants to buy you did, uh, is going to deny mm -hmm. wanting to buy you because it doesn't want to pay a higher price. A company that is falling apart because of Oracle is a candidate to be bought by Oracle. So it had all three checks. Um, now, who downgrades BEA? There were two guys, there was two guys who downgraded ahead of time. And they did exactly what you do when you're young. And, it, you know, that's what you do. I mean, it's what they did. And, I mean, a lot of times I'm criticized for, like, saying, you know, I'm now in these two analyst faces for saying that they're wrong. And I'm from the sports world because I covered sports for a long time. And, you know, when you don't do well, it's obvious that you're not doing well. Only in our business because, you know, can you have people who are still having their jobs? But that's okay because nobody did anything wrong here. All I did was look at what has happened in the history of Oracle, what has happened in the history of mergers and acquisitions, and just reached conclusions based on, not on mm -hmm. BEA. What do I know about BEA? It's got a lot of cash and it's got a Chinese business. But on what has happened historically. All right, so follow the company. Well, not the, don't, no, the, don't well, listen exactly don't, the opposite. Yeah. Don't listen don't to the company, the company at all. And, but look at Every, Oracle's history. Don't they, look at anything anybody says. Mm -hmm. Decide whether you like the company. Decide whether there's a catalyst. If there's a catalyst and there's a company, then there might be something going on. But just don't, I mean, don't listen to the companies. They Legally, they can't help you. Legally, they're not allowed to help you. So that when someone reports and says, well, BEA says it's not for sale, just understand that's what they have to say. Mm -hmm. They're not trying to throw you off course. It's what they're told to say legally. They can't get in trouble. They're not doing anything wrong. But they, they don't expect you to listen to them. But it's what they have to say. And too many people are just naive and they say, well, they wouldn't say it if they didn't mean it. But in our legal system, they're not allowed to say what you want. They're not allowed to say, yeah, it looks real good for an act for it to be sold. They're just not allowed to. So don't don't act as if they're helping you. Yeah. They have no choice. They can't help. I mean, I'm sure there are a lot of people be here right now who are saying, I wish we didn't have to hurt people by telling people we weren't for sale. But that's what the lawyers told us to do. Because that's what the SEC wants them to do. I mean, no one is doing anything wrong. But they can't help you as a shareholder. They're just not allowed. All right. Thanks a lot, Jim Kramer. On the mystery behind the Oracle BA yeah. system is really not much. not allowed to help. Everyone believes. Everyone believes what every company says. But that's not the way it works. All right. But it works when we talk about it on Wall Street Confidential. Yeah. Thanks so much, Jim Kramer. On the street.com TV. Stay tuned for more. Is there, a, is there another one?